Hi there and welcome. I'm Alan Stafford and I want to thank you for joining me as we delve into the importance of a skill not only sought after by employers, but one that helps your own personal relationships grow and thrive, and that is soft skills. So let's take a look at the difference between soft skills and hard skills before we begin. First, let's clarify the difference between soft skills and hard skills. Hard skills are specific teachable abilities or easily quantifiable and measurable skills. For example, uh, computer programming languages, machine operation within a warehouse, digital marketing, and legal knowledge, just to name a few hard skills out there. On the other hand, soft skills, often referred to as interpersonal skills or emotional intelligence, they encompass a wide range of technical abilities that determine how we interact with others in various social and professional contexts. Unlike hard skills, which are specific to a particular type of task or activity, soft skills are more about how you do things and how you interact with your environment and other people. Soft skills include communication, problem solving, work ethic, conflict resolution, and leadership. Now keep in mind, this is just a small, non-inclusive list. I mean, it's not an all-inclusive list of soft skills whatsoever. There's many out there. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example uh, of a situation where there's hard skills but no soft skills. So imagine a scenario at a tech company where the team has hard skills, that's all that programming skills, but they lack the soft skills. What do you think might happen? Well, for starters, probably ineffective meetings, poor communication, lack of effective leadership, and team cohesion, well, that would be very evident. All of this would lead to frequent conflicts, low employee morale, and a decreased productivity. Now, some of you might be thinking, hey, I'm describing a place where you've worked, and I very well uh, could be if employees lack soft skills to manage their day-to-day -day interactions and their work relationships, it might be the same place. This brings us to the point that organizations with employees who only possess hard skills and lack soft skills find themselves less efficient, wasteful, and struggling to survive. The revolving door of hiring and losing employees becomes a constant challenge. For this reason, soft skills are crucial in professional settings. They create a positive work environment, facilitate effective communication, and ensure smooth collaboration among team members. They're also key in customer and client interactions, negotiations, and conflict resolution. In personal life, soft skills contribute to building and maintaining relationships, effective communication, and overall social well-being. They are essential for a well-rounded, fulfilling life inside and outside of work. So you might be wondering, how do you acquire soft skills? Well, here are six ways I've identified. First, self-reflection and awareness. Start by assessing your, your current, your own soft skills. Identify areas for improvement and be conscious of how you interact with others. Number two, feedback and observation. Seek feedback from colleagues, friends, or even mentors. Ask them to identify areas where you can improve your soft skills. Observing how others successfully use soft skills can also be instructive. Number three, education and training. There are many courses, workshops, and online resources that are dedicated to developing soft skills. Right here on YouTube, subscribe to my channel as I add more soft skills and you'll learn more there as well. All of these can provide structured learning and practice opportunities. Number four, once you've found these, practice and application. Like any skill, soft skills improve with practice. Apply them in your daily life, both in professional and personal contexts. Number five, reading and research. Books, articles, and podcasts on topics like communication, leadership, and emotional intelligence can provide insights and techniques for an endless amount of improvement. Number six, mentorship and coaching. A mentor or coach who excels in soft skills can provide guidance advice and feedback. And I would go to number six if you've exhausted all one through five and you haven't found yourself uh, progressing anything. But I think you will if you do at least one through five. So soft skills encompass a range of interpersonal and emotional intelligence skills crucial for success in both professional and personal contexts. They are characterized by their non-technical nature, subjectivity, and their universal applicability. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What soft skills do you think are most important in your life? Which ones would you like to uh, see me create videos for? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insightful and soft skills content. I wanna thank you for watching. And remember, the journey to enhancing your soft skills begins with a single step. Start today and see the transformation in your professional and personal life. Thank you.